Okay, in this video I'm asked to solve the inequality negative 10 times open absolute value 1 3rd x minus 2 closed absolute value is less than negative 5. I'm going to start by isolating the absolute value so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 10. Negative 10. These guys cancel out and I have open absolute value 1 3rd x minus 2 closed absolute value is greater than and um, negative 5 by negative is a positive. 5 over 10, 5 will divide into both of these numbers. 5 will divide into 5 and 10, so this is 1 half. Notice I flipped the sign of the inequality, and that was because I divided both sides by a negative number. And I had to simplify this fraction 5 over 10 by dividing the largest number that will divide into both of them, which happened to be 5. Okay, I've got the a uh, absolute value isolated, so now I can write my two inequalities. And this is um, the absolute value of 1 3rd x minus 2 close absolute value is greater than 1 half. Remember our mnemonic greater or, so this is going to be 1 3rd x minus 2 is greater than 1 half. Greater or, so I'm going to write or here, since it's a greater than symbol, or 1 3rd x minus 2 is less than negative 1 half. Again, I flip the inequality on the second uh, inequality and this uh, positive one half became a negative one half. Okay, so I have some fractions here I'd like to eliminate. Uh, I have a three in the denominator here and a two in the denominator. So I'm looking for the smallest number that three and two will both divide into. The easiest one to pick is six. Uh, six divided by three is two and six divided by two is three. So we're going to multiply everything through by six and that will eliminate our fractions. Okay, so each term gets multiplied by 6. 6 times 1 third is the same thing as 6 divided by 3. So this is 2x minus 6 times 2 is 12 is greater than 6 times 1 half is the same thing as 6 divided by 2. So this is 3. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. And now I have 2x is greater than 15. My final step will be to divide both sides by 2, and I have that x is greater than 15 over 2. Notice I didn't have to flip the inequality here because I was dividing both sides by a positive number and not a negative number. And 15 over 2, it's nice to know um, the relative location of this number compared to integers. 2 will go into 15 7 times with 1 half left over. So 15, let's just go ahead and make a note of that over here so when we have to graph it, 15 over 2 equals 7 and 1 half, right? Because 2 will go in 15 7 times with 1 left over. All right, let's, let's go ahead and eliminate the fraction over here. Again, it's the same denominators, 3 and 2, so I'm again going to multiply through by 6. Times 6, times 6. Distribute the 6. 6 times 1 third is going to be again 2x, and 6 times 2 is still going to be 12, so this is 2x minus 12 is less than negative 1 half times 6. Well, this time it's going to be negative 3 because of this negative sign here. I have 6 times negative 1 half, positive times negative is negative, and I just do 6 divided by 2. Same steps as over here, I'm still going to add 12 and divide by 2, so this time instead of positive 3, uh, plus 12, I'm going to have negative 3 plus 12, so I'll have 2x is less than 9. And now I just divide both sides by 2, and I have that x is less than 9 over 2. And again, relative position, uh, 2 will go into 9 4 times with 1 left over, so 9 and uh, divided by 2 is going to be 4 and 1 half. And I'm doing this by saying 2 times 4 is 8, and there's one more I need to get there, so 4 and 1 half. Let's go ahead and look at the graph. So for my graph, because this is one of the solutions I'll expect to see is a graph. Let's see, the two numbers are 15 and a half and 9 and a half, uh, which is, or excuse me, 15 divided by 2 and 9 over 2, which is 7 and a half and 4 and a half. So x is greater than 7 and a half. So here's 7 right here. 7's about right here. 
and then we have 8, and then we'll have our 15 over 2 should be right between 7 and 8 because it's 7 and a half. And this is x is greater than 15 over 2. The numbers greater than 15 over 2 are to the right of 15 over 2. So I'm going to go this way. Notice it's an open circle because there's no bar under here that tells me it's equal to. Okay, and we also know that x is less than 9 over 2. So that's 4 and a half. So 7, uh, we'll say this is 6, 5, Four. Right here is four and a half, or nine over two. And we'll put an open circle. And the numbers less than nine over two are in this direction. Okay, now I need my set builder notation. Set builder. I'm going to write curly braces. X such that X is, I'm going to read it exactly what I see here. X is less than nine over two or, and then there's, there's a gap here, that, and that reminds me that I need to write or because of this gap, x is greater than 15 over 2, and then close the curly braces. Again, we're going to need, we've got the graph and the set, and the last thing we need is our verbal solution to this problem, so I'm just going to put the verbal solution over here, verbal, and I just write exactly what these these are set. I just write exactly what I see here in the set builder. It's x is less than 9 over 2, or, and this is important that we use or, x is greater than, oh, I should have actually written out greater than, excuse me. No shortcuts today. x is greater than. 15 over 2. And those are our three representations of the solutions.